Welcome to the Brawler Henry and You Show. I am your host, Henry Harris. Welcome to the Brother Henry and You Show. I am your host, Henry Harris. It's such a honor and a delight to have the one and only Marilyn Hickey with us today from Marilyn Hickey Ministries. Uh, she recently wrote a book called It's Not Over Until You Win. And Marilyn, I want to let you know, as I just recently just told you that when I was a little uh, boy, I used to watch you on television. And I just have to say, this is such an honor. And you happen to be probably one of the most influential uh, Bible teachers that I have ever um, known. So I don't take this opportunity lightly. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to interview you about your book. Well, thank you. I love doing this. Thank you. I love to hear your testimony. We talked a little before. Yeah, thank you so much. My first question uh, to you, Marilyn, is what inspired you to write the book? Well, what inspired me was basically getting people hooked on vision, because I think a lot of times they have small vision. But if you can see and hear God's vision, and that's what influenced my life, is I got around people with big vision and I got infected. I want to infect people. That's good. Uh, in your opinion, what does winning look like to a person who may feel like they're losing right now? Well, the, what I say, it's not over till I win. So what you say in the morning absolutely guides your thoughts and emotions for the day. So there are some things that I've said for a long time that have not happened yet. But I can also go through a long list of things that have happened. I think what I want to say to people, you know, get a big vision and don't give up. Keep listening to God and keep hooked on the book. Uh, what can one take away after they purchase the book? What can one take away from reading your book? What would you like to see them walk away with? Well, I'd like to see them walk away with a world vision because I think too many times we just want people in our town to get saved or our state or our nation. I'm trying to get them hooked on the world, the vision God has that he so loved the world. And I tell you, when you start praying nations, you begin to love the world. Mm -hmm. And you've been all over the world. Yes, I have. I have. Um, what audience are you trying to reach uh, with this book? Is there any specific audience you're trying to reach? I think I'm just trying to reach Christians with vision. So I don't think it's an age thing, but get a big vision. We have a big world. We have a big God. And I think I started by praying over nations in the world. So I took them by continent and memorized them. And then I would get up in the morning and pray over them. And I tell you, that early morning prayer really directs your day. Yes, it does. And my last question I want to ask you, Marilyn, is uh, can you talk about an experience that you've had uh, where it appeared that you were losing, but you ended up winning? Well, I could talk about a lot of them, but I remember when I went to Pakistan and a hundred and I think 27 men took an oath to kill me mm. because I was having a healing meeting 
and you know they hate me uh, women and they hate they don't hate Jesus but they hate anybody preaching the gospel and you know people said well you could be killed you know and I had to come to the place if I die I die mm-hmm. because I was frightened you know and I go to some places still that are frightening but God wants the gospel out. And once you press through fears and you speak promises, remember, God opens the doors with promises. Whosoever shall say to this mountain, be thou removed, cast in the sea, shall not doubt in his heart, but believe that the things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. That is, that directs my life in the morning. That's where I start. And that's good news. Um, Tell us where people can uh, purchase your book yet, and we'll make sure to put that at the bottom of the stream. Okay, and they will see it's on right now. But I wouldn't get just one book. You know, books have great influence. Yes. So get two or three or four or five and pass them on, because the book is really exciting. You know, it's not, oh, hum, I'm reading a book. It's, wow, could I have an effect on the world? Could I have an effect on my neighborhood? Could I have an effect on my ugly relatives? <laughs> it mm. gives you passion. I purchased your book at a um, Christian bookstore here just recently, and I read the whole book, and it's a phenomenal book. I really uh, liked it. Um, it'll challenge you and inspire you at the same time, especially those who may feel like they're losing and uh, the people that were working behind the counter, they all knew who you were, and they were excited uh, that I was going to be interviewing you. And I had encouraged them. I said, y'all need to get the book as well. So I believe Good. I believe that they have purchased your book uh, as well. So to those who are watching right now, please uh, take the time to order Merlin Hickey's book. It's not over until you win. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Uh, Thank you again, Marilyn, uh, for your time. Uh, It's been such an honor and such a delight to be with you today. Could I pray with you just quickly? Yeah, sure. So, Father, I just pray over my brother that his best days are ahead, that he's surrounded with favor like a shield, that he speaks like the oracles of God and ministers out of the ability that God gives. And thank you, Father, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you so much, and um, you have a wonderful day. We hope you have enjoyed today's program. We want to connect with you. Visit us at facebook.com slash the Brother Henry and You Show, or visit us on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Henry Harris 100. We're so grateful you tuned in today and hope you have a fantastic day.